This is the demo for Junior Mafia. I think actually Biggie gave me this. At the time, Biggie lived around the corner. He was trying to be a rapper. I was trying to be a rap A&R person. We were all trying to be something. Drew was a young, powerful something who cared so much about this music. And so when Def Jam called me, I was like, Russell Simmons wants to offer you this job as the director of A&R at Def Jam. I could not have scripted it better. That's one of the beautiful things about the music industry. There was a lot of mobility for women, but at the same time, there was tremendous amount of sexual harassment. You didn't get a lot of sympathy for that. That was considered the price of admission. I didn't tell that many people about what happened with Russell. He just grabbed me. He just grabbed me. And I'm saying no. I was reduced to nothing in that moment. Nothing about anything that makes me who I am mattered. I had asked her, do you want to go to the police? She was like, no one's going to take me seriously. Who's going to believe me? If white women are not believed, what do you think is happening to black women in America when we come forward with stories about sexual violence? I don't have a stitch of violence in me. I would never hurt anybody. You're worried as a black woman that you'll say something that will have consequences that you hadn't anticipated. He's the king of hip hop. The black community will hate my guts. I didn't want to let the culture down. I love the culture. It's a terrible burden to bear, to know that you might still be judged as somehow being a traitor. The New York Times called me and said there were other women, but they won't go on the record unless I go on the record. But I'm terrified of the backlash. We need to be able to make sure that a broader group of women are introduced into the public consciousness. This is so emblematic of what happens to women routinely. It's a loss for all of us. It really, really is. I've been alone for 22 years. I thought it was just me. To go through the assault and then the coming forward. Everybody was taught things happen, you just didn't talk about it. And so I just always put on this front. Every woman's story deserves to be heard. I've been a victim for 22 years. I'm tired of being a victim.